Hello, everybody. I'm Chuck Todd. Up next, we know it's a difficult scenario to imagine, but we have to prepare ourselves, everybody, for the possibility that Michael Huckabee may not win the White House. Some of you all can prepare yourself. I'm not ready. That's right. But in addition to, pr to purchasing some bottled water and a new battery-powered radio, we updated our disaster plan to include a Huckabee evacuation scenario. It's a very special episode of Hotline TV. We see parents who dream big of honor students and artists. By supporting programs that help children learn, we help parents watch their dreams come true. From the Watergate Building in Washington, this is Hotline TV. Now, here are Hotline Editors Chuck Todd and John Mercurio. It's Hotline TV. I'm John Mercurio. And I'm Chuck Todd. Last week, more reports surfaced of, of that Mike Huckabee has options. Specifically, he could abandon his White House bid, Johnny Indeed, Boy, he could. And return home and wa wage a run against Senator Mark Pryor. John, the chances of this are slim or none? Minimalistic. Yeah. They are minimalistic. I think we've all seen Mike Huckabee in the past be courted to run for Didn't he one run of against those Dale Bumpers? Republican seats. Years um, ago. I believe he did. That's and got creamed, but anyway, okay. But that was before he'd been governor. True, obviously, true. For, Haley Barber one time ran for the U.S. Senate in the 80s in Mississippi and got creamed and came back indeed, to the game. Indeed he yeah. did. Look yeah. at you. Oh, yeah. But look, I mean, he doesn't want to be in the, in, the, in the legislative branch. He never has shown any interest in that. He loves being in Washington. He doesn't really seem like he wants to be he wants in to the be White here. House either, though. I mean, you know what he wants? how active is he? He wants to be in the, in, the, in the cabinet. He wants to be, or he wants to be, vi be vice president. No. He's not going to run against Mark Warner. I mean, I'm sorry. He's not going to run against, against Mark Pryor. Um, so they can just give up on that. Unfortunately, I, his presidential campaign is not going to last I think he wants to be on, on the new CNN conservative talk show, Mike Huckabee is Making Sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huckabee enjoys D.C. I mean, we've sort of half-joked about it, but it's right. true. The guy is always here. He's always Huckabee here. Huckabee is making sense. You know, he is, this guy is destined to become the sort of the, 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 the Dick Vitale of Republican politics. Dick Vitale, this is a sports reference for you. And yeah. I know. So me up do a timeout time. sports reference to Dick Vitale, <laughs> sort of <laughs> mediocre coach, great personality, media nice. loves him, and he turns into this great sort of semi-quasi-journalist in college basketball. Cool. That's where Mike Huckabee's going to become. I think That's right. what he wants to be. But the problem, though, he wants is to work here. Look, he's not he wants to be on Hotline TV talking? with you. He might just be here in the next couple of weeks. We're looking for co-hosts, by the way. Chuck Todd's going to be unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> it's a conflict yes. with his uh, standards and practices. His future employer. He's like all psyched about the standards and practices guy. Why have you never had a standards and practices never. person before? It's, it's, it's so much fun at the hotline. Dude, Clearly, the hotline has no standards. Clearly, <laughs> have to get a real job. Yeah. Um, look, I, we were seeing in this presidential campaign tremendous appeal. Uh, a very intelligent guy, very smart guy, not a really disciplined campaigner, not somebody who likes to put in the hours and the hard work needed to run a campaign. And he that's how easy races political pundits in are Arkansas born. for governor that uh, ended up being relatively competitive because he didn't run A good political pundit hard. is not disciplined <laughs> and enjoys being in 400 North Capital. The Scarborough country. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's it. Poor Joe. That's all we got for you guys today. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow on Hotline TV. For I'm Chuck Todd. We'll see you next time on Hotline TV.